Hello again, here is Kirelcraft and I will be showing you today a awesome new app I made in Java. It's called Simple Transfer and it's a application used to transfer files between two computers very easily. Now basically what this app consists of is a simple graphic user interface which has a button for browsing files so you can send any type of file you want, any, any kind of size and uh, things and uh, then you will see here in the transfer progress window, I mean sub window or how you want to call it, it's a progress bar which will show you the transfer progress and then you have a connection site where you have to enter the IP of the destination client so if like I want to send something to someone else and uh, I have to enter this IP I mean no for, for example if I have a, another computer somewhere else uh, that computer will show here another IP and uh, therefore the person I want to transfer the file to has to give me this IP which will be written here. Okay, now um, I I'm sorry I'm so quick about this thing but I want to make it quick because I don't have space on the hard drive. And uh, now what else you have is uh, a choosable option between direct IP and the proxy. Now basically what this is is that if you choose direct IP it will co directly connect to this IP and if you choose the proxy IP I mean if, if you choose the proxy it will connect uh, uh, via a proxy and then to the client okay now uh, what else you have here is advanced settings which actually lets you set the current buffer so if like if you have a big big file and you have very fast internet connection you you should uh, you, you should slide this up uh, but this is only for advanced users. If you don't know what you're doing, just leave this here. Uh, the default value is 2048. I'm just gonna try put it back, but 2049 will do as well. And um, now I will do you a quick demonstration of this thing. Just hold on a second. Okay, so here have I opened another one, uh, another simple transfer file. I will be doing this in the. Uh, I mean, I will do this in not say on the same computer, so the IPs here are the same. But basically, what you have to do if the computers are different, if let's say this this is the other computer, it will have a different IP here. Maybe it will be like two hundred and four, uh, and here will be four sixty seven or such. And uh, this is just an example. And uh, the person you want to transfer the file to has to copy this. I mean, he has to dictate you the IP. So we'll have to enter here. Okay, now um, as a quick demo on the client one. No, hang on. Um, I forgot what my IP was. Okay, I will enter my local IP because this one works as well. This is my local IP of this client and this one as well. And I will be just browsing files and look somewhere for a big file. I don't know where to be honest. Let's just go into Java. Um, I don't know what. Here is a big thing. Wait, I, I just need to make a copy of it so I won't lose it. Hold on just a second. Okay, now I made another copy of this. So I'll just choose this file. And uh, thinking that this is a quite big file, it has one, it has around one gigabyte or so. I can set the buffer up to like um, three megabytes. 3000 kilobytes or I could go up to 4 as well okay now basically what you have to do now is choose direct IP or proxy and if you choose direct IP for example if you hit begin it will show you a pop-up from this window that someone wants to transfer a file for you and here it says waiting for accept so uh, this one is waiting for the for this client to be accepted and you have to hear two buttons accept and deny and uh, it will show you who the file comes from, what it is named, and the size of it in bytes. Uh, yes, I know this is quite inconvenient and I will change it soon. Uh, now you have to hit accept or deny, it depends. If I hit deny, it will say here that the receiver refused the file and you, you just have to send it again. So you, ha you go uh, here, choose it, and then you hit begin. Uh, it will say that uh, file request blah blah blah, size zero. Now why this is size zero? Because I sent it from the same folder and this is this is a bit of a bug and okay 
Now we'll just hit deny again and uh, just I'll be back in a second. Okay, here I am. Now I go to browse files and I choose this file again. Now I click I click begin. It will ask me for a file name received. I'll hit accept and the file send file received. Um, this is due to the extreme speed I have on the local host. Okay, now, uh, what else do you have here is a setting for the proxy, as I said. And if you hit the proxy one, you will just have to search for a file. It doesn't matter which file. I will choose like a uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 patch. I will just hit, no, I, I mean, I have to enter my actual IP here. And uh, this will be interesting, just let me a second finding my IP okay so this is my IP I will hit proxy begin and uh, the buffer will be 4 megabytes it can be smaller though okay now if I hit begin it will start testing a proxy as you saw there uh, the proxy was tested and now it's waiting for accept and uh, the file address comes from another IP which is different from the one because it's a proxy server or it can be the same because the proxy has very low uh, security. So if you hit accept, it will start transferring the file and it will say here the speed, 2.4 megabytes and I let here a space by mistake, uh, 2.3 megabytes. So this should actually be the same speed. Now after the file has transferred, in the, the file will be stored in the same folder as this simple transfer application. So this application has been started from my um, D in Java and it will be here somewhere. Um, Grand Theft Auto patch. It will just send right now. Okay, it's finished and as you can see here, this is the application I have transferred via proxy and it's completely working. It's not corrupted or anything at all and everything works um, and this is why I say I'm quite proud of this application because it, because it's the, it is the first one of this kind I made and uh, I hope you will use it as well. I used it yesterday to transfer 3 gigabytes and it was quite a pain because I was downloading something else at, at the same time and uh, this simple transfer application was just the relief I needed to transfer the files easily. So uh, this was it guys for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you need the app, leave a comment in the description. I mean, I mean, leave a comment and I will put the download link in the description. I won't be putting it just like so because maybe you don't want it. Maybe you don't, you don't wanna try it. So it's not worth putting a download link if no one takes it. Uh, okay, this was it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.